Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I received Rock of Ages as a gift. Although, I suppose that really doesn't have anything to do with being cheap, uh, just with having a generous friend. And in this case, that friend's name is David, and he goes by Deftonius Online if you catch him on Steam. Thank him for uh, giving me this game so I could bring it to you. Though in all fairness, I was going to buy this game anyway. This game's been on my radar for quite some time, and it was one of many games that I had uh, zeroed in on for the Steam holiday sale. But he went ahead and picked it up for me as a Christmas gift before I could even buy it for myself. So, uh, joy. Rock of Ages comes to us from Ace Team. Ace Team is uh, a development team out of Chile. And uh, they have uh, quite an irreverent style, if one judges from the uh, from the screen here, from the title screen, uh, all these little historical figures dancing about. Uh, the animation style immediately reminds me of uh, the Monty Python animations, of course, done by the uh, the legendary Terry Gilliam. I love Terry Gilliam. He's one of my favorite directors uh, of the motion pictures. Uh, some of his movies that I really love would be uh, Time Bandits, Brazil. 12 Monkeys, uh, one of my all-time favorites, probably my top, in my top five, Adventures of Baron von Munchausen. Oh, just his movies are always, always marked with a certain visual style, which is so um, refreshing. You don't see it a lot in modern film, and, and he's done a whole lot of really amazing stuff over time. So uh, just a quick look at the options here. Really, mostly just to come see these guys. I love this. These guys battering down the door with the keyboard. <coughs> Excuse me. As I choke on my own mucus. And the uh, catapult that's throwing a mouse here. I love that. Uh, so uh, there's not a lot here in, in terms of controls. You can use a keyboard, uh, uh, excuse me, a controller, a gamepad. I find the keyboard and mouse to work just fine. There are some settings here. I do believe this was originally on the consoles. Uh, so there's some decent video settings here, considering that uh, it would seem that this game came from uh, the console land. Uh, this is the Unreal 3 engine, I do believe, uh, which is an interesting uh, usage of it. Uh, the game is full 3D once you get into it, and speaking of that, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, you can change your character, but that doesn't really seem to do anything other than change a visual style. So, uh, here we go. This is the overall world map. Uh, we are uh, playing as Sisyphus. Uh, Sisyphus is the uh, character from Greek mythology who was cursed to roll a boulder up a hill, only to have it roll back down again, and uh, repeat that for eternity. Uh, the reason he was cursed in this manner is because he thought himself smarter than Zeus, and uh, several different times he tricked the gods, especially the gods of the of the underworld, Thanatos and Hades. Uh, he escaped from Hades, he, he chained the god of death and caused all mortals to stop dying. Uh, you know, so he, he's a pretty tricky fellow, and in this case he has done it again. He's managed to escape from his eternal punishment in Hades, and he's taken his boulder on the road, and he's rolling it at all sorts of historical figures. So, uh, here we go. Let's, uh, every, every level opens with a cutscene, so let's take a quick look at this little cutscene. They're all just sort of goofy funny. Lots of references in them, so here you go. <laughs> and that's that's sort of the sense of humor that this game has. Uh, you gotta love it here. You notice the the hat, uh, the the Santa hat, and the snow in the beginning. Um, this because it's still on the Christmas update. So uh, yeah, here you go. You start every level in this uh, overhead view, and the object is to roll your boulder through the obstacle course get to the end, and smash down your opponent's door. Once you smash down their, your door, you'll find them standing inside, and then you crush them with your boulder. So you see my guys here furiously building my boulder. Uh, these are the starting points. This would be uh, the enemy... Start this is my starting point. This is the enemy starting point. So uh, the main object of this particular uh, session is to uh, go ahead and beef up your defenses. So that's what I'm going to do right away, try to uh, create some defensive structures here that might prevent my enemy from getting through. I tell you one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save $700 down here. And the reason I'm going to do that is this right here. 
if at all possible on my first roll I like to use the iron strapping uh, because it means that I can get through and I can get a good initial hit on my enemy. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to roll yourself down the hill and uh, you are going to navigate these obstacles. You can hit stuff, people, buildings to get a little extra money. Oh lord, okay. So you can see the giant ox man thing there. Uh, yeah, good thing I got this strapping on. You notice um, over in the lower left hand corner I have my life bar and the strapping uh, protects me. Eventually the strapping will fly off and I will start taking damage to my boulder, but if I protect myself like this it means that I can get a full on boom hit on the door. So uh, I get a full hit at his door and what's more I'm ahead of my opponent. Now he has not yet hit my door. Here he comes. He's just going to impact my door. There it is. And uh, I'm ahead of him. So that means I'm going to get to roll first. And that's very important because many of the matches that I've won, I've actually only won them because I rolled first. Uh, you know, I rolled before him. So sometimes your third boulder is going down and you both are going to die that turn, but it comes down to who's going to get there first. And that's very important. So I'm going to fortify this area because it's a nice choke point. Uh, something you may have noticed is when I built these structures, these tiles became dark and you cannot build on dark tiles so I'm going kind of light on the defenses here uh, I am just sort of trying to cause him some trouble and I don't want to lose my advantage so uh, I'm gonna roll I don't have any other options available to me so here I go no fortification oh man he's put an elephant right there Whoa, okay. Well, this is a good time for me to tell you about the uh, falling off mechanic, which is to say there really isn't a falling off mechanic. The only punishment for falling off is the time that you lose. Uh, so I lost a little bit of time having to be reset, but you notice I didn't lose any of my integrity uh, on my boulder there. So so that is a very nice, uh, that is a very nice thing, because one would hate to lose boulder integrity. Whoa. All right. Managed to avoid the giant ox man. I do find that on this level that is one of the best obstacles. Uh, best ways to slow down your opponent. I saw he actually had a nice roll around it this time. But luckily the computer sucks at driving the boulder, so uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it looks like he sort of shimmied around the outside here, so that's unfortunate. Let's uh, let's let's put an elephant out here. He, he put an elephant out, and that's actually a pretty damn good strategy, so... I'm going to try an elephant there. I don't think that's going to work too much. So it definitely looks like he's pulling down this way, so let's give him something to think about. Because these towers are intact, so that tells me he hasn't been up here. Uh, and that should do it when my boulder finishes. Should be good to go. We'll throw a couple catapults in there. And let's roll. And uh, he's actually got me down pretty good. So uh, like I say, I am ahead of him so by virtue of that I'm gonna get to hit his door first and therefore probably win there we go earning a little extra money by smashing those buildings and uh, yeah this is pretty much what the game is I mean it gets more complex because you get more power-ups uh, to actually build your defenses but other than that this is this is pretty much uh, pretty much the crux of this game it's a hell of a lot of fun um, it really, really is. Now, he's rolling now, but that is really in inconsequential because he's dead as I line up my shot here. So we are going to kill good old Leonidas, who's hiding behind the door. And all that's left to do is roll him over. Boom. And there you go. We got some statistics, statistics if I can say that word. Uh, statistics here if you like that sort of thing units built, boulders used, etc, etc. And there we go. We move on and uh, to the next one. So uh, we'll do one more level and that should kind of be uh, be enough for you guys to see what's going on. So uh, here we go. You'll notice, uh, or hopefully you notice, there were some golden keys. Those are little, uh, little secrets in each level. They're kind of off the beaten path. Uh, but uh, I don't know what they do. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they unlock something. They're keys, so I would imagine they unlock something. This is my favorite cinematic so far. You shall not pass. 
Oh god, I'm a sucker for a Lord of the Rings reference, so there you have it. So here we go. All right, let's uh, let's see what do we got here. Uh, okay, where's my door? Okay, there is my door. So uh, that's a weird little. Okay. Well, so the first thing I'm going to do is just try to create a nice wall off somewhere choke pointy. And I think this time I'm actually going to save my strapping until a little bit later. So I'm not going to initially save any money. I'm just going to try to build some impediments here. And of course, as I said, I'm going to try to roll first. So if you could see really quickly there, there was a uh, there was another power-up available for me. So that will come into play very shortly. Oh man, he picked a really good place to make his defenses. Let's just jump over it though. Ha ha ha. My flying boulder. Alright, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Catapults. Okay. Smash through a catapult. We didn't take too much damage. So we get a nice hit on his door. And again, the most important thing, we're ahead. So we really like being ahead. Uh, being ahead is very nice. So this time around, I'm going to save a thousand bucks uh, because I do want that uh, that extra power up that you guys saw there. So I'm going to reinforce this stuff here that he destroyed. Just make it a little more difficult, and we have exactly a thousand left. So all that's left is to wait for his boulder to build. And he's built a bunch of his stuff right in here, so. Next time I build defenses, I'm going to build in this particular area because this is what the computer's using, and I like the look of it. Come on, build that boulder, build that boulder. There we go. And we're going to pick this, the fireball. Dish out more damage. So uh, let's try to collect up some money here by destroying buildings and things. You notice I'm not trying to go as fast as humanly possible. Um, ultimately, I really am just trying to get through... Oh, and that's going to be a fall-off. Awesome. And my enemy is a rolling. And there's one of the keys over there. I'm not going to... Am I going the wrong way? I am. Fantastic. So let's go back through here, and let's go the right way. I think I've evaporated most of my lead now by making that mistake. That egregious error. Yes, indeed I have. So Here we go. We've definitely taken some damage, but uh, our fire boulder is going to give us a little bit extra oomph. There we go. Very, very nice. Uh, so again, it comes down to one boulder, and uh, we just need to hit this last one and make things... Uh, yeah make some defenses here, make some things to uh, impede our enemy's progress. And again, I'm really not too concerned about how effective this is. Um, that's why I'm using the little small guys. I'm just, I'm just fortifying as best I can against his... Uh, oh, we're all out of money. I'm just fortifying as best I can to slow him down. Um, that's really all I need, because all I got to do is get to that door. Now, he's actually not done too much damage to me, so he may need a second hit. Uh, so I may not have anything to worry about at all. But I'm not going to tempt it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off. So guys, as we finish this uh, last roll up, uh, let me just tell you that I've enjoyed the hell out of Rock of Ages. I do see there's some limitation uh, to the game. I mean, it, it definitely um, it, it innovates on its own concept to a certain degree. But uh, there's only so much you can do with a game that is based around rolling a boulder uh, down a hill. Uh, I think that this game is fantastic. For the money that I would have paid for it had I bought it, I would have been super happy. There we go. Scream. Like a girl. There we go. Uh, I would have been very happy. Ugh, that death sound. 
paying uh, you know two fifty, five dollars, even ten dollars for this. I really, uh, I really had my eye on this game from the time it came out, and I really, really enjoy this game. Um, it's been a whole hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I will go ahead and get into the next level, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go as I continue to play because this is as far as I have progressed at this point. So uh, I, I hope that you guys will take a chance on Rock of Ages if you didn't buy it during the holiday sale. If you did, hopefully this video will compel you to install it and uh, actually give it a go. Uh, this has been Rock of, da uh, of Ages. I almost said Dages. <laughs> a little anxious to say my own name, I guess. Uh, thanks again to Dave. Uh, my good buddy Deftonius, a little bit of a Castlevania ghouls and ghosts sort of reference here. <laughs> oh, Vlad, you're so bad. Yes. So, a little bit of a, of, of a Castlevania uh, reference there. Love that. And, uh, yeah, thanks again to Dave, a.k.a. Deftonius, for this wonderful Christmas gift. Uh, one of the best I got this year, actually. And, um, yeah, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.